Now at 11 to 10 News Weather Authority Alert Day still in effect for tomorrow due to a winter storm that we've been tracking for you all week. And we are expecting a mix of snow, ice, and rain depending upon where you live, depending upon your elevation. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz is here. He's breaking down the timing, Jeff, and the totals for everybody. And it, it really just depends upon where you are for this. Yeah, thing. no doubt about it. Yeah. It looks like the highlands are going to see the most snow. And even then, it's just going to be a few inches, especially for areas north of Interstate 64, while south side is going to be warm enough for mainly just rain. I want to talk to you about this weather authority alert day. And again, as John said, a winter storm is headed our way. It's going to bring us every type of precipitation imaginable from snow, freezing rain, sleet, and plain old rain. But I'll tell you, the one thing that we are most concerned with, and frankly, the main precipitation type, will be that ice. It'll be freezing rain. The timing of this about 3 a.m. until 4 p.m. Again, 3 a.m. start time, which is only about four hours away, ending about the early to mid afternoon. I should say the mid to late afternoon hours of tomorrow. So about 3 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's our open window to pick up on precipitation. Where? Mainly for areas along and to the west of U.S. Highway 29. Now, as far as the National Weather Service is concerned, they have issued winter weather advisories for areas in purple. That includes our border counties with West Virginia and also for Lynchburg and South Side locations. While the middle part of our viewing area, area shaded in pink, are under a winter storm warning. Winter storm warning, a little worse than a winter weather advisory. Now, as far as power outages are concerned, Looks like areas in that winter storm warning will have the best chance to see a couple. OK, now as far as ice accumulation totals, they're going to range between a tenth to a quarter of an inch of ice in areas shaded in yellow. You usually need to have a quarter of an inch or higher totals for there to be widespread power outages due to ice. That number is going to be close, but I'm thinking that we're going to have some power outages, but it's not going to be anything catastrophic as far as power outages are concerned. Now, as far as those precipitation chances on Saturday, they're going to be maximized between about 5 a.m. and about 1 p.m. After about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, that's when the precipitation exits. And who knows, we may actually close out the day tomorrow with some breaks of sunshine. Very important to note that right here, right now, we are still dry. We're going to be dry here for about the next four hours or so. We are indeed mostly cloudy, but I will tell you the day to watch for this weekend will be Saturday, hence the Weather Authority Alert Day. Highs tomorrow only 36, but on Sunday we're going to see increasing sunshine with any upslope snow showers ending. High temperatures on Sunday, not as cold, about 47.